and we are back with another gaming related Saint Seiya question and like last time I asked social media and my subscribers if Saint Seiya was an open world game what archetype would you prefer meaning what style of open world game would you like because there are a lot you got your Bethesda style open world game dialogue density pure freedom factions and so on you got your Ubisoft open world you know, take over the base, perks, map markers, collectibles. You got your God of War style game, linear game with multiple branching paths, and certain large hub worlds. There's also Breath of the Wild, but I have sadly never played that. Those are not the only styles, but those are the ones that come to mind. Before going into people's ideas and mind for gameplay, I thought to myself while watching gameplay for the new Harry Potter, someone who never read the books and only seen the movies, I'm like, what is there to see in Harry Potter universe besides everything in Hogwarts? Which had me thinking, what is there to see in a Saint Seiya game that is open world? Well, you have the Sanctuary, which I should have made a video on that, or after this, going over how amazing and interesting the Sanctuary is when you consider everything in it. Now beyond that, of course, Moo's house, Mount Fuji, the stadium, the Grad Foundation, Kronos, and Artemis realms on the moon, the beach. Honestly, I think to get the most of everything, you need to add EU content, expanded universe. Also, anime content as well, meaning Asgard. You of course need to add Atlantis, as seen in the classic and lost canvas. Perhaps even take inspiration from the hypermyth image, the underworld, and every realm in it, the super dimension, if you have the wings, of course, and Ellipsia. Some Saint Seiya Sinatra show they need to add Ares space realm. I'm sure there are a bunch of places in Lost Canvas that can be used. Episode G should have Iapetus dimension, Tartarus, and Kronos labyrinth, which is also much more detailed than you would think, almost comparable to the sanctuary, the nuclear reactor, and the marketplace, and almost forgot, should add some of the more interesting movie locations as well. Now the enemies. I think the enemies should of course be where they are at in the story, sanctuary temple guards and saints, at least when they are evil, Atlantis and Hades can stay enemies. Also mythological beasts and giant animals. As we see, they can be very strong. NPCs, like enemies, should be where they are in story. Gold Saints should 90% of the time be in the sanctuary or on a mission. You should see Bronze and Silver Saints in the wild randomly and would fight beside you kinda like in FF12, just doing their own thing as well. Speaking of fighting, gameplay. The gameplay could work in many ways honestly. I mentioned Final Fantasy XII, which is a semi-real-time action combat. That could work. You can also have a system where you build up your techniques. Traditional turn-based combat is also fine, say something like Final Fantasy X or Persona 5. Of course you could go where I would prefer, that is simply real-time action combat. They could use the gameplay from Soldier's Soul or Sanctuary Battle and place it in another game. Just please don't do the pause on super attacks. That was annoying in Kakarot. My friend called it Xenoverse but with pauses, and I couldn't argue. I think there should be a type of class system revolving around Zodiacs. Maybe not all of 12, maybe some could be in groups like a class for short but strong attacks, attacking tanks like Geminis, and the Virgos could be something like mages, you get what I'm trying to say. While I don't think you should stretch the lore too much, the character should be able to learn multiple techniques outside of their constellation which we have seen before. You should be able to unlock higher senses at least to the ninth sense that unlocks higher tier abilities. Flight. 
Flight should be an unlockable power. Saints should have the ability to fly one place to another like teleportation for the most part. I think the movement in the beginning should be very fast running. If I could however pick a fighting style from any RPG, the best combat I've ever played in RPG would be in Dragon's Dogma. Very fast, creative with classes that mostly feel distinct. Another good combat style would be perhaps something akin to Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> Imagine Saint Seiya game done by Nomura. Perhaps there can be an element of territory, something like in Far Cry or any Ubisoft game really. Though the best base attacking I can think of in the game would be something like Samurai Warriors 2 Empires. That generally what always comes to mind honestly, though that may only really work in hack and slash games and not an open world game. The upgrade system. I want a lot of experience from defeating enemies. You should have the ability to put extra points into stuff like Cosmo, mana, attack, or durability. Not sure how miracles should be implemented. Maybe if you die you get a chance to quickly come back but much more powerful than before. I don't know. I think certain fights should feel very difficult to almost unbeatable without higher level cloths like gold cloth or god cloth. I think a system that could make the game interesting is like a ally recruitment system where you can have up to two characters fighting beside you. You get the possibility to recruit almost anyone from the series from the get-go. Even the strong characters, kind of like in uh, Body Out Stories. Collectibles. I like how in Dragon Ball Kakarot, you can find bits from the classic Dragon Ball story from that game. The same thing should be done in Saint Seiya game, but instead of Dragon Ball, it would be all the spin-offs explain in the location they take place or the classic if the story is completely original maybe you can collect saint Seiya cards if you remember no shock if you don't saints leave cards after they defeat an enemy maybe many cloths are scattered and you are on the search to find the cloth boxes w what are your thoughts side quests i want there to be factions which i will explain in the main story like in bethesda games i want the questing to be surrounding picking a faction saints mariners specters whoever the quest should revolve around defeating or in some way hindering the other side or making your faction stronger remember even gold saints are sent on missions. Other quests to make it interesting should have something to do with lore or mythology. Any mythology. Maybe you have to save a town from centaurs, save fishermen from mermaids. Just play into the background a little bit. And the main story should either be a top quality retelling of the classic, perhaps also a retelling like with a new hero character like they did with Attack on Titan 2 game, or a story that can involve everyone. Like think the anti-pope but for every continuity, like Lord Dracon but for Saint Seiya. Or a game that takes place in the ancient times, where you can reasonably have everyone involved. Well, that was a bit longer than I thought. I like this format, so I may use it a bit more in the future. Now, let's look at your ideas. On Twitter, I would love to see an open world like the Sanctuary from the movie Saint Seiya Legend of Sanctuary. It has a Final Fantasy vibe. I think a game for a world that big may either need to be huge DLC or literally the whole game is that version of the Sanctuary. And honestly, it might not be as interesting as screenshots make it look. It's just kind of a big sci-fi city at the end of the day, but eh, it's still cool. A game like Immortal Phoenix Rising, which is a Breath of the Wild knockoff, at least till it's done enough to call it Breath Likes or whatever. Never played it, but don't see at all why that style can't work for Saint Seiya. Also that game is Greek mythology themed, so even more reason it could work. A number of people suggest an MMO similar to the last Saint Seiya MMO. Sure, why not? I have not really kept up with modern MMOs though, but hey, nothing wrong with a good MMO. From Discord, Time, Age of Myth Story, Original, Sort of Archetype 
action adventure. Something like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, partially open world with some online multiplayer. Activities just bigger and more complex. Dragon's Dogma has great dungeons and locations. Saints in open world can have saints do jobs for the Pope. And this person's best idea that I forgot to mention is Colosseum like Kingdom Hearts where you fight different saints in certain matches like 5, 10. Could it be a bronze saint or silver saint and grand final battle is a gold saint. That's a great idea. Use the Colosseum and the arena as a way to level up and fight characters from all the series, even in the mainline story. Another way to use the Colosseum is something like the arena from Ratchet and Clank. Fight hordes of enemies in special scenarios and in the end a final boss, which could be a ghost saint. Open world to me might have some RPG elements. I would like to play as a non-main character or a side soldier going through the events of Saint Seiya's story. And some of the battles that can occur could be team-based battle RPG, turn taking or not. And finally, there's a game called Saint Seiya Online, which is based on the MMORPG in 2013. I don't know why the game isn't seen again, but if it's open world type, I hope the original timeline. Aside from that comment, many would prefer a new story. And that's it. I think people had a lot of great ideas that I either also suggested or used their ideas also. I think we can all agree a good overworld Saint Seiya game is very possible. For my idea personally, I can wrap it up like this. On the low budget end, since non-mobile anime games are becoming a bit scarce these days it seems so maybe something a bit unoriginal is fine kakarot but saint seiya assassin's creed but saint seiya phoenix rising but saint seiya for something with a lot of budget and a bit of creativity a game with a faction system like bethesda base capturing like ubisoft combat is a mix of saint seiya soldier soul and final fantasy 15 ally system like body out of stories with a mix of dragon ball kakarot but not story oriented like kakarot more like saint seiya awakening really i know i mentioned kakarot a lot but i can't think of many open world anime games sorry side questing a mix of fallout faction system far cry based capturing and saint seiya awakening's fan service the main story you should be able to start it at any time and drop it at any time to do other things with in the game and well that's pretty much my idea and the fandom's idea i guess tell me what you think if you have not seen my question what would you like in an open world saint Seiya game later 